gosh, I am so excited about that. Turnip and Potato have decided to grace us with babies. Okay, are we expecting babies though? Ah, curses. Okay, we are not actually expecting babies. Maybe because Turnip was too stressed? She doesn't have the best stats in the world either. Uh, and I wonder if there's a way that we can make her less stressed. Like, can we make a little archway of rocks or something? Can we, oh, let's actually, I bet she feels totally exposed because there's no coverage. Like there's not really a lot of plants to be able to hide behind. So let's actually come in and try to add in some plants that might help her a little bit. Let's see, do we want to put in some trees? What could we put in? Here's some diamond leaf willows, which I actually think are really freaking pretty. Just as decoration, if nothing else. Ooh, look at these trees. Okay, the diamond leaf willows are really amazing. Oh, she's sniffing it. And she's sniffing the, the goat. That was really cool. All right, let's go ahead and do this. All right, that actually looks fantastic. Just putting down a few of these plants. Holy cow. All right. And she was feeling good, and then she got super stressed when she comes right over here. I wonder if that's because she, like, I mean, look at all these people. Look at all these people. My theory is that because it's so warm over here, that's why everyone is kind of huddling over here. But I'm actually going to start sprinkling heaters and benches around uh, Shepherd's Nook to try to improve the quality and convince people to like visit more places than just our goats. Cause we have freaking snow leopards and we have got uh, Arctic wolves and people are just like, no, I'm just gonna spend all day with the goats cause it's warm. That's ridiculous. Oh, maybe a pangolin pagoda? No, that's that'd be kind of silly. Let's try, maybe just a little archway of rocks would be good. Oh yeah, this would be really cool. Let's try doing like a big thing of rock cladding. That, oh no, Frost is about to die of old age, what? Oh you guys, we just lost Frost. Okay, that's like a town emergency. We're gonna go ahead and pause for just a second because that is just going by way too quickly. Um, let me rotate this so that we can support our newfound little project that we have here. There's that. And then let's get a little rock, like so. There we go. All right, and another couple of little rocks really quickly. And then we need to say goodbye to Frost. I can't believe that. I mean, I knew she was getting older, but still it's always such a heavy thing to lose one of our Arctic wolves because they really seem to be kind of like one of the spirit forces behind what makes Shepherd's Nook, Shepherd's Nook. But 18.5 years is an amazing amount of time for her to live. And she has left behind, oh, the pack is watching on. No, that's so sad. She has left behind Blizzard, her sibling, and she's left behind uh, her children, Arctic. Arctic, who is currently over in um, the, the glacier pack and having pups of her own so she's got grand pups her son tundra her daughter cloud and her daughter sunday and cloud we're gonna go ahead oh she's already the alpha female we're gonna go ahead and put her on contraceptive so she doesn't breed with her dad like first thing uh and we might need to get a new female wolf in here that is something we might actually have to consider so that we can carry on the lineage hmm or actually i think I think Frost's mate, let me see, who's her mate? Okay, actually, pack mate's none, that's kind of, that's kind of hard to read. Yeah, Elk actually is quite old, so I think we'll just wait and Cloud might inherit the pack at nine. That's a little bit old, but the packs lately have had like siblings that they spend their time raising. Oh, Frost! Oh, rest in peace, Frost. Oh, and the pack, they're just whining. That's so sad, guys. Oh my gosh, okay. We'll have that taken care of. We already have Cloud. Oh. Oh, Cloud, I know. 
Howling over the loss of your mom. I would I would be too. I can't wait to get more keepers so that we can keep this place tidier and cleaner. Oh, that's too hard. That's too hard to look at. And they're all howling and like missing her. Oh, that's just, it, it gets right at my heart. All right, how's everybody doing here? Potato is stressed. I really feel like this is a bad spot for the animals. They all seem to get very stressed when they come over here. Let's try adding in maybe some trees so that they can't quite see all the people. Go away, blueprints, for crying out loud. Hmm. Maybe some plants, because it just feels super exposed. If I was them, I would want to have... What about this guy? Poplar tree? You know, I would just want to be able to be like, no, you can't see me. I'm hiding. I think I will put a poplar tree right over here. I don't know if that's going to help them become less stressed, but I kind of want to block the animals from going in there too often. I want to make sure they have enough food. Alright, good. The heater is still functioning. Good. And maybe this... Is this going to help? Yay! Okay, I think that these little, like, rock outcroppings actually are helping to keep them less stressed. So, we might work on a few more of those. Alright. I don't mean to spend so much time on, like, the goats and everything, but they kind of need our help pretty frequently. Oh, good. People are coming in to look at the wolves. Yeah, they kind of need our help pretty frequently to make sure that they're happy. Alright, Chilsu, you're stressed. Let's see. Chilsu. Oh, Chilsu's actually inside. Oh. Alright, Chilsu's actually in our animal trading center, and he's still counting as stressed where he's at. We're gonna go ahead and... Where's our spring rock? That's interesting that you still get reports on stressed out animals. Even when they're, like, inside. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and maybe trade him? And we'll just see if he trades out. And then he won't be stressed because he'll be in a new place. And then the lumberjacks. Yay! Okay, that seemed to help out the animals because they're all happy now. And as usual, these guys are thinking about fighting because there's too many of them. Too many males. Alright, let's grab Hendrik. Don't you start that up again, Hendrik. Hendrik is the alpha... There's Freya. Here's an Eno. Here's Nika. I think we'll go ahead and release Nika to the wild at his age. Yes. So that the, we don't have to worry about them fighting anymore. <laughs> and look at this nice big area. Hopefully, yes, people are coming this way. I want to have more people show up over here. Do you guys like the view? We worked really hard on this view. Please tell me it's fantastic. It's a good thing this zoo isn't overcrowded. All right, hopefully they enjoy it. And they're happy about the exhibit animals they saw. Gosh, freaking darn it. We were so close on keeping these guys from stressing out. And then it happened again. Hmm. What if I grab this? I wish there was just a way. I think it's just the nature of there being so many people here. Hmm. And these little houses don't seem to be helping, like I was hoping. Yeah, they don't even seem to use them, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove them. Or at least remove that one. Alright, let me grab that bedding. No, 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 stop that. Arrowwood bush, you're in the way. Alright, well, I hope whoever uses that bedding doesn't get stressed out. Alright, unbox... Oh, everybody's coming to get some food. Are you guys not stressed getting food? Not stressed while getting food! Yay! Stress level's going down because they can all crowd inside of this little building. Alright, I think that's going to help out. Eventually, we will get to the point where they won't be stressed, I hope. Because <laughs> this is quite ridiculous, seeing so many of them so upset. Yazid, are you feeling better? And all I can imagine is because of all of the bazillions of people walking through here. I can't blame them. I can't blame them. But it looks like everybody seems to be having a good time. And hopefully learning a bit. No baby aardvarks though, which does make me a little happy, unhappy. Oh, and our, my aardvark is stressed out again. Turnip, no! Is it this, this part right here? 
the, can I provide you with another? Here, let's do another one of these. Maybe down here. That's actually really cool looking. And I'm hoping that will actually... Maybe we can make like a running tunnel. That would be really cool to kind of like make a tunnel that can just sort of carry on. There we go. I need to make it a little higher than that. There. I'm hoping I'm learning while we're doing this because I know we've been working on the spring rock for forever and we need to add in some new animals. But I'm hoping creating kind of like a little rocky pathway with lots of places that everybody can get out of sight. Let's lift this up a little higher. And a little higher. Maybe it's the music? I wonder if it's the music. I wonder if it's just like this spot and if we block them from coming to this particular spot, is that where they get stressed? Oh, look at that. All right, we'll just provide them with some more spots where they can really feel they're out of sight, out of mind. How's our little aardvark doing? All right, we'll get there. <laughs> okay, now what's up? Potato has a little welfare. Potato, hang in there. You'll be okay. Let's call a keeper to the habitat. Uh, we could get another tiny little... Let's get another tiny little spot going. There. It's just a very, very rocky field, okay? And we'll put this right here. And then maybe whatever animal comes over here can feel protected. They've got their own little like stone hinge spot to try to get out of sight, out of mind. Hmm. That's very ugly. But it'll have to do. A lot of this, I wish I could go over with a fine tune comb and just make so much of everything about Ice Ice Outpost nicer. But that's part of the challenge of doing it in franchise mode. And with so much happening all the time. You just have to kind of do your best. And find peace in accepting the chaos that you have created. <laughs> Alright, that's actually looking really cool. I sort of love it because now it looks a little bit like a canyon. That all of the goats hang out in. I'm hoping it'll make some of our animals happier. Not an ideal temperature. We'll go ahead and get you guys unboxed. What the heck? Why is everybody in boxes? Out you go. Alright, Potato, how you doing? Potato stress is going down. Thank freaking goodness. Space has also gone down, apparently. Uh, I think because we have a million babies. Alright. Oh, and then we've also got to release to the wild this guy. And let's grab a few of the females. There we go. And I'm going to release to the wild this one. And then I'm going to put a couple of the daughters into the trade center. There. All right, now everybody's feeling a lot happier. I guess it was getting a little bit crowded with so many spring rock ahem, goats running around. But enough about the goats and why on earth are there so many people here? I just give up on understanding that to any degree. Um. If they continue being so stressed, I'm tempted to get rid of this bridge right here. This bridge. <gasps> Maybe if I got rid of that bridge, it would make everything better. I I, I think we're going to do it. You know what? <laughs> Beth wants to take care of her goats. We're going to do it, you guys. We're going to blast the bridge. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I did that. Because this bridge is like one of the most popular thoroughfares in the whole area. But let's try blasting that spot and seeing if we can redirect traffic. And maybe that'll start helping. And I don't think anyone's going to escape out of there. So we're good. Alright, we'll see how that works. 
Okay, the stress seems to happen as soon as they hit this spot right here. Oh, I wonder if it's the spot where there's no path and it just suddenly disappears. Maybe there's some sort of weird little glitch with that. So let's try putting... Dang it, I really wanted to work on grizzly bears, but it's kind of hard to focus on... Oh, let's get rid of these. Duh. All right, we'll get rid of those things. And I did really want to work on grizzly bears. But it's kind of hard to focus when my poor goats are just completely unhappy. All right. Let's get a couple. Maybe that'll keep them away from the spot that's causing them a lot of stress. Animals will fight due to overcrowding. Oh, who's grown up? Is it this guy? It's this guy. Out you go, buddy. Oh, and Sunday the Arctic wolf is about to mature. Yay! The wolf pups are growing up and I still... Oh, that was so cute. And I still haven't managed to achieve much going on lately. Ah, uh, goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, you know what? I have done my absolute best that I possibly could with this entire goat situation. I have really tried to resolve it uh, now. Okay, now this is just ridiculous. <laughs> you people! Like, oh my gosh. Hopefully this will resolve itself too. Do you guys even know where you're going? Do you even know why there's so many of you here? You're upsetting my goats. Like, move on. Oh, geez. And now, oh. Town emergency! <laughs> okay, guys. Abby's stocking area has gotten a lot knitted. I, I really, I think it's time to start taking things a little bit more seriously. <laughs> Again, uh, let's go ahead and send them all to the trade center. We're going to go ahead and select all except for a couple of those really awesome. Yes, that finally works. Those really awesome gold level beetles. Let's actually get these guys out of here. Like, what the heck? If there's gold level beetles, that's what we want to be breeding up. And then, yeah, we'll quick trade this one. And we'll get all three of these ones up and going. That gave us a little bit more income. Do we have some iguanas? No iguana babies. Iguanas do not seem to have babies very often. What about over here, the common death adder? We have two we can send out. And we can go ahead and add in a basking lamp and ditto over here very nice very nice good to see that we've got some females having babies and then we'll send them out and select all except for the one gold male nice that's going to be fantastic and we'll go ahead oh look at that three thousand dollars good job all these accounting notes <laughs> All right, I think we're going to start really making progress. I know I say that every single time. Oh, and our vet can start researching aardvarks. Yes! Quilter Peaches, once you finish those puff adders, we are on to aardvarks. Holy heck yes. Uh, prized goats, prized goats. What, oh, what to do with you? Um, I love our... our bridge i just really do but if it keeps causing this much trauma for our goats i don't know well we might get rid of a portion of it and just keep like one of the three paths uh but there's so many people like all of the people in our entire area seem in the whole village seem to be congregating right over here eventually i'll figure out what to do with that uh for now we're just gonna have to let the goats frolic and figure it out all right was sunday about to mature Sunday! We're going to compare her to her sisters. She is bronze. And then she has her brother. Oh, Tundra. Tundra is probably going to go ahead and inherit this place. How's his cousins over here? Oh, I haven't even named these wolf pups we've been so busy. With goats. That is not the kind of life I want to live. I, I mean, don't get me wrong, goats are cool, but I want to be watching this pup jump and like try to like grab at things instead. Oh my gosh. All right, Sunday, we're going to go ahead and send her to the trade center. 
and then we're going to go ahead and have Tundra in here. And with Tundra here, I want him to actually claim this area as his own. I don't want him to fight with his father. I don't think he will fight with his father. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he won't fight with dad. And we're going to allow Cloud to stick around with dad until Elk is no more. Like, look at him. Oh, he's such an old man. All right. And then we will go ahead and get Tundra a new mate. That's what we'll do for these wolves. But all right, guys. Freaking goats. Oh, no. Allie died? Protesters. Why? What are they protesting? They're going to ruin my whole zoo. Stop that. Where are you? Who are you protesting? Get over here. You're protesting Billy Goat and Melody? Billy Goat, Melody, look what you're doing. What do you mean you don't have enough space? Oh my gosh. I save you from the evils of this spot and this is how you repay me? All right, let's try this. I can't believe this. This is probably why they think they don't have enough space. All right, Billy Goat, Billy Goat. You and I, friend, I'm about ready to get rid of, like, all of these billy goats. Critical crowding issues are present. How? How can you feel that? After everything I have, I have slaved over for you. See? Oh my gosh. Is it the- was it the rocks? It might have been the rocks. It might have been the rocks. Okay. I guess he wanted more space and he feels like he just doesn't have enough. Let's check their welfare. Animal welfare. Alright, Billy Goat. Let me see. What are you thinking about for habitat? We want to click on... Habitat, habitat, habitat. Traversable area for a billy goat. I feel like he's got a lot to offer, like, here. I guess this rock... I put down the rock in the spot that causes them all the stress to save them from it. And suddenly, that's just too much. Suddenly, like, I have, I have stolen their freedom for all they know. They're just sad. I can't believe this. Okay. Look, let's try putting this over here. Oh my gosh, there are so many protesters. These people are just absolutely losing their mind over the goats. And I'm about ready to just be like, look, Beth, villager Beth, this is too much. We're, we're, we've got to stop. This is just ridiculous. All right, let's try. We can make a traversable area if I just get this right. Like so. Nice. No, no, I needed I needed another one. And then let's do like so. Alright, please tell me that makes this traversable. <laughs> Gracious me. Uh habitat, 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 habitat. Prize goat. Habitat. Uh traversable area. Grab the goat! Grab the goat! Yay! Plenty of space now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe I finally have happy goats? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Hope, hope, hope. I can't believe we're having all these protests over goats. There's plenty of space! Billy Goat the second. Billy freaking Goat the second. Oh, look at our little aardvark hanging out on the rock. Oh, now you're all stressed. I'd be stressed too with all these protesters. They're being rude. Oh. You guys. Where's Billy Goat? I am just about... Okay, that's it. Billy Goat. If you still... Okay, that's it, guys. <laughs> Billy Goat, he had a good run. He had a good chance. I'm done with this. I'm so done with this. 
And then I like I'm just I I I can't believe this. We've got like three goats left, and Potato's still super stressed because of all their their chanting and hubbub. All right, Billy Goat's gone, and all of you need to get out of here too. All right, you guys, I'm about I'm about losing it twelve ways to Sunday about these goats, and now they're protesting with Melody. <laughs> Melody, why? There's plenty of space. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I have no idea what just has made them absolutely lose it. I'm gonna like throw her over here and see. Yeah, see? There's plenty of space. I took away like one spot. Just one. And then you guys are just so furious. Okay, are you guys done protesting? This is literally the busiest area of my zoo. You're gonna wreck my zoo. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. You guys, the era of the goats might soon be over and we might just make this into a gigantic sheep pen because this is ridiculous. We'll have to see where things go from here. So I'm losing my mind over goats. I'm done losing my mind over goats. We finally have some positive income. Uh, so we're actually gonna go ahead and try to work on a different section of the zoo next time. And maybe I will, or excuse me, <clears throat> of Shepherd's Nook next time. And maybe I will begin to find some semblance of peace. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please go ahead and leave a like. If not for the goats, then for my sanity. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.